Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Friday, August 11th, 2023. And we begin with an epic, out-of-this-world mother-daughter bonding moment. Yesterday, Virgin Galactic launched six people to the edge of space, including the first-ever mom-daughter duo. 18-year-old Anastasia Mayers won the seats in a drawing that raised money for the nonprofit Space for Humanity, which aims to make access to the final frontier easier for everyone. Also along for Virgin's first-ever space tourist flight, a former Olympian from the UK and a crew of three. The space plane reached a maximum speed of Mach 3, which is three times the speed of sound, and a peak altitude of 55 miles before heading back down to Earth. The night before blastoff, Anastasia admitted she had second thoughts, but afterward, she told reporters nothing will top this. It was a fairy tale night for the Philadelphia Phillies with not one, but two incredible storylines. After seven seasons plugging away in the minor leagues, 28-year-old Wes Wilson hit a solo home run in his first ever major league at bat on Wednesday. Wes's family was there in the stands for the big moment with TV cameras catching the tears of joy on his proud dad's face. And in the same game, Phillies pitcher Michael Lorenzen threw his first no-hitter in only his second start for the team. Even more incredible, according to Barstool Sports, Michael continued the tradition of every pitcher from Fullerton High in California who went on to play in the majors, throwing a big league no-hitter at some point during his career. The odds of that, the website says, is .00008%. Should robo-taxis get free reign on the streets of San Francisco? That is the multi-million dollar question now facing the city. Two companies, Cruise and Waymo, want to offer round-the-clock paid, no-one-at-the-wheel ride services that would compete with traditional cabbies and the humans driving for Uber and Lyft. Right now, Cruise can only operate in certain parts of town and only when it's not busy. While Waymo has all access but has to offer its rides for free. Concerns range from tech glitches causing traffic tie-ups to the general unease one might feel being near a moving vehicle with no one in the driver's seat. The California Public Utilities Commission is set to vote on the proposal this week. The damage left by a wildfire that ripped through one of Hawaii's most popular tourist destinations is shocking. The historic town of Lahaina, which dates back to the 1700s, has essentially been leveled. Estimates range from 400 to more than 1,000 buildings in ruins, including the historic Pioneer Inn. Many residents are still without power and cell service, and thousands are taking refuge in evacuation centers. Yesterday, President Biden issued a major disaster declaration to the state, which clears the way for much-needed federal aid, and the Pentagon has activated more than 100 members of the National Guard to help with disaster relief. In other Kid News notes, the House of Mouse is taking a page out of Netflix's playbook. According to CNN, Disney's chief executive Bob Iger hinted that the company plans to crack down on password sharing sometime next year. He's also raising the cost for those who want to stream their favorite Disney shows ad-free by 27% in October. For those who don't mind commercials, the price will remain unchanged. Taylor Swift put a bow on the end of her shows in Los Angeles by announcing the October 27th release of 1989 Taylor's Version, a new album that will include the re-recording of her hit singles Blank Space and Bad Blood. In two weeks, Taylor takes Eras International for concerts in Mexico, South America, Asia, and Europe before returning for an encore in the U.S. in the fall of 24. That's it for Kid News. Now today's Kid News Quiz. A teenager and her mom just became the first mother-daughter duo to do what? Fly to outer space. San Francisco could soon allow driverless cars to do what in its city? Offer round-the-clock paid taxi services. President Biden just issued a major disaster declaration for what state? Hawaii. What streaming service may be next in cracking down on password sharing? Disney Plus. 
And in our Kid News Kicker, football fans are flying high with the NFL preseason kicking into full gear. One highly anticipated matchup, tomorrow's game between the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers, pits the new Jets QB, veteran Aaron Rodgers, against the league's number one overall pick, rookie Bryce Young. The juxtaposition of the two was not lost on Rodgers, who with his age and experience is considered a guru of the gridiron. According to NFL.com, during a joint practice this week between the two teams, Roger says he offered the young rookie some sage advice, telling him, be gentle with yourself. It's a long journey. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News on Monday morning.